Is everybody filed in? Guys, is everybody filed in? Yeah, I think so. I had to set it for a while. Dana, what happened? Everybody's good, guys? No, yeah. no we're not. Yeah. Just one minute. How Take many your minutes? time. I, I, listen, I'm supposed to be in a press conference right now, so I got plenty of time. You guys let me know when you're ready. It's all good. Is everyone in the back clear? Everyone? Yeah. All good? Yeah. Thank you. So. Oh. Let me just start off by saying I'm not going to tell everybody what went on back here. <laughs> but, uh, you know, there was multiple crazy, you know, I, I don't even know what to call it. However many years, 22 years, however long I've been doing this, we've never had an incident like today. It's just all hell broke loose out here. We did a, I don't know, I don't, I don't even know how, to, you know, so we stopped it, but we didn't do a good job of uh, not letting it happen. It just, I don't know, I don't know what went on here. It just never happened before. And we'll, we'll, be, we'll be ready for it the next time. So, I mean, it looked like you guys kind of made the decision on the fly, right? Like everything was kind of happening on stage. Like, yeah. I guess, so what was the ultimate call well, to well, say? Well, what I didn't want to do was have uh, all these guys come out there together. It would have been bad. Uh, the Diaz camp showed up with 57 people. Hamzat's team had 30-something people. And then you had multiple guys going on back here. It was crazy. It, it was absolutely nuts back here. Did Can you guys hear it out there? No, the, loud, the music was yeah. so loud we couldn't hear it. It was loud back here. I thought I thought everybody could hear it out there. Anyway, I, I didn't think it was going to be a shocker when I walked out there. But um, uh, yeah. Were there yeah, any? It, Dana, it was, was it like just physical? the fighters? Did it get physical? Very physical. There was lots of stuff going on back here. Yeah. So I was. Uh, was I made the right decision. Believe me. Was, was it just injuries? the fighters involved on the card, or was it people in camps and whatnot? No, multiple it? fighters involved in this thing. And. Uh, but I mean, were there the additional fighters even, other than the ones that were on the... No, the camps hadn't even got into it Oh, okay. Yet. Yeah, so... But I could see where this was going. You don't have to be a rocket scientist to figure out where this whole press conference was headed. And, and there were so many people with all the camps that once this started, it would have been a, it would have been a bad... You know, now I have to start looking at, you know, uh, an event going off on Saturday if this, if this continues, so... We had to shut it down. Is there anything that would involve the commission at this point or that would endanger the fights at this point? Is there anything what? That happened that would you know, no. involve the commission or that would endanger them stepping in and canceling no. it? If I went out there and did that press conference, I think there would have been. But no. Is this, you're going to have to cancel the face-offs at the ceremonials and stuff like that because we're going to have the same guys coming back, the same teams and everything. Yeah, but we'll be, well, we'll be better prepared for it than we are today. You know, we come here with a skeleton crew for the, for the, uh, uh, you know, the, the press conferences. There's not nearly as many people as there will be for the for the uh, actual ceremonial weigh-ins. We'll have tons of security, metro. You know, it's a, it's a totally different ball game. Is we, it fair to assume it, we weren't expecting this? It's never happened before. Is it fair to assume that it re-upped and when when Kevin and uh, Daniel were out there that so, something began again backstage? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There was, there was there was lots of stuff going on before we went out. Calmed everybody down. Got it to a good spot. Figured. Two by two would work, and uh, we were wrong. So during Are any the of press the fights conference, in jeopardy? did the no. fights continue no. while fights you were, were out good. there? Yeah, yeah, everybody's good. When, okay. when the press conference was going on, did any uh, altercations continue in the back while you were out? Yeah, that, that was why I stopped. It. So Dana, I mean, you, you made the call you had to make, and then you had to hear the crowd boo, right? I know that's a disappointment. I guess what are the emotions no, you're feeling it's, as it's, that it's happens? No, it's not. It's not disappointing at all. Uh, you know, the, these press conferences are. You know, something extra that we that we try to give the fans leading up to the fight and the press. Um, you know, you know, the fight will still go on. Everything will still happen. It is what it is. I, I get it. You know, they can go to dinner earlier and uh, start <laughs> drinking earlier. That, you know, it, does this lead to policy change moving forward and like how events happen? Yeah. So press conferences will obviously have, will definitely <laughs> definitely have more security. Is uh, what instigated the whole thing, David? What kind What's of started, that? What instigated the whole thing? What kind of started the whole deal? There were multiple things going on at the same time. It wasn't just one thing that erupted and it happened. There were multiple things going on back here at the same time. So there was security over there. There was no security over here. There was no security over there because everybody was dealing with the other thing. And then once it all just started erupting, it was a complete shit show. Uh, Did any, fighters get cut? any fighters get cut or injured in no, any way? No, no, Out of the six no, people, nobody's hurt. Out of the six people, how many were in, involved? Was like all six of them like getting skirmishes? Was it four of them? How many yeah, of them? Yeah, four. Yeah, there were four involved. 
Which two weren't? <laughs> <laughs> Probably the two you asked questions. I can tell you there hey, would you say this is good for business? <laughs> I mean, you know, given it's a bad thing to happen, but for the show, does it pique interest in the show? <laughs> no, I mean, I don't even think about shit like that. It's like, oh, yeah, this is great. No. It's bad. It's all bad. It's bad. Will uh, we see uh, it on Embedded? Like, is Embedded was Embedded backstage with everything? What did I? I've been telling you guys for weeks now. I don't tell you guys anything. You'll see nothing. <laughs> Saturday, will the show will go on it'll, the way it's supposed to go on. More. It'll sell the fight more if we see what. Oh what yeah. Down. Well, we yeah. saw the bus incident later on, right? <laughs> yeah. So I mean, we saw the what? The bus. We caught it through. A Dolly yeah. through a bus. We ended up Legend. seeing that on yeah, TV. So the so next fight when I'm promoting this. <laughs> Ultimately, we're going to find out what happened back here. You, you won't tell us anything today. I mean, I, you'll see that these NFT companies that are following these guys around are going to put this out in a couple hours. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> are, are you, you going to find any of these guys or punish them in any way? Oh, no, guys, this is what we do. This is the, it's the business that we're in. This is the fight business. These things happen. What we do is we look at how this happened today. Why were we unprepared for this? Why were we not able to manage this backstage better than we did? And we'll be better next time we do a press conference. This will never happen to us again. Is it safe to say there's legitimate beef between Hamza and Nate at this point? There's legitimate beef with people I didn't even realize have legitimate beefs. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Kevin and Hamza, for All example. hell broke loose back here today. I had no idea. Was it hard for you to manage the press conference up there knowing that things were going on backstage? No, because everybody was on you know, alert after that. Everybody knew what was going on. So um, we, we just didn't have enough people. And there's a lot. I mean, there are teams of 10 people back here with each fighter. Is that something that would change in the future? Like, uh, these guys are rolling deep. 100%. Yes. They know more security the next few days? Yes. Yeah, well, we, we always do for the events. We just weren't ready for the press conference, you know. You, you roll in here, maybe a couple guys say, you know, some things, you know, like, you know, we had the time where, um, you know, a couple guys jump up during the press conference and we handle it, but uh, never has anything broke out like this here today. A reporter so, just tweeted it was thumbs Where up. I was like, it's a bad idea to go out there and, and it's dangerous. You could put the fight in jeopardy. You got fans out there. You got the press out there. And, and we just, we don't need that. A, a reporter just put out that it was Hamza and Kevin Holland that uh, started the whole thing and it was kind of a domino effect in there. Is that the case? Yeah. Do you felt think left you out? guys made a kind of mistake or was something like a un very unique specific situation today? Did who make a mistake? You. Do you think well, you guys made a mistake? Or I don't know if unique? we made a mistake. We, it's, it's a big, big difference between making mistakes and not being fully prepared for something, you know? If, if we thought the guys, you, when, when, you th when you know that you have guys that don't like each other, you know, you make sure that they're, they're isolated, you have plenty of security around. Um, you know how Nate and Hamzat are, you know, they could probably have some words, but we had enough people here to deal with it. What we didn't have enough people for was for everybody to start fighting. When everybody starts fighting, and, 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 and there was more than just fighting going on, there was other stuff going on that security was dealing with. And, uh, yeah, we weren't prepared. How'd you score it? Uh, I, I, no, no, it didn't get that far. There was no, there's no scores. Out of the craziest things that's happened in the company, how would you rate this as the craziest thing? I don't know. There's been a lot of crazy things. Uh, but this is the craziest press conference we've ever had, that's for sure. This is something you'd expect would happen eventually. I mean, like you, you always say, fighters are fighters and tempers yes, There's always something, man. We're, we're, every, every week something new happens. We're always dealing with something. But, yeah, this is a, this is a first, and I guarantee you this will be a last. Is there going to be like any precautionary measures for the early waves? Some what? For the early waves tomorrow as well. No, we're, we're you know we're always prepared for this. You know we're, we're well staffed when we have the weigh-ins and the night of the event. You know, I mean look at the Habib Connor situation. We were ready for that. We knew something was going to happen, and it still slipped by us. Those guys let Habib jump over the gate and didn't get him in time, and there we were. But you know. This is a crazy business we're in, boys. This stuff happens, and you just got to be ready for it, and you got to deal with it when it does. I've always wondered this. I mean, these are the toughest guys on the planet. What kind of training do your security people have? Like, what's Well, forget about the security people. That's <laughs> why you're saying, well, did you have enough people in here? What's Lene going to jump in there? Right. I mean, what's, you know, it's, there's only so many people back here that can handle these type of situations. Tiki, if it wasn't for Tiki, we, we'd have been in big trouble. Tiki, where you at, Tiki? Yeah. <laughs> Tiki took a couple for the team, and he's not even on the team. <laughs> How did Tiki get that USC win? Yeah, Tiki took a couple water bottles to the head and a couple of slaps, kicks. Dana, one of the Thanks, Tiki. 
I wonder if you can comment on the fact that fans would have been at risk if you know the, the camps are fighting when you have so many people in the camps. Good. This was the right move. Yeah. As bummed out as everybody is, this is the right move. Uh, this needed to be canceled. Is that me? Do you have to reevaluate how many camp members you said Diaz had 75 coming That's in? That's what he just asked me. Yeah. Yeah. Hundred percent. Yeah. You, you can't let two teams come in here between Diaz's team and Hamzad's team. That 100 people here. Yeah. It's like the Royal Rumble. That's exactly. <laughs> uh, that's a, you're already off to a really bad start. If anything goes wrong, you've got 100 people that you can't control. So, Dana, it's not Tuesday, but would you say there's some fights to be matched up after today? <laughs> yeah. there, there, there's always going to be fights for guys like Kevin and, uh, and Hamzat. Uh, you know. Yeah. Did you uh, find yourself? Huh? Sorry, Dana. Did you find yourself in the middle of everything when it was going on? Yeah. Yeah, I was just trying to tell everybody that, what the fuck are you doing? What's going on? Stop. Everybody stop. But they were all so fired up. Um, you know, Kevin and I are actually really close, you know what I mean? And uh, he wasn't having it. He owes you some extra sneakers now? <laughs> yeah. I probably took his sneakers back. <laughs> Damn. Uh, do you think a situation like that can help to hype the event or even to sell more the Is what? Do you think the, a situation like that can help to promote the, the, the fight? No, that's what Kevin just asked me. No, I, I don't. I, I, listen, I don't know if it does, but I, it's not good. I don't like it. It's not. I'd rather have a great press conference out there and hype it up with tons of great sound bites and a, and a stare down. Yeah. You know what I mean? I mean, just imagine what the Hamza Diaz stare down would have would have done. It would have pulled. I don't know what you guys are pulling this week, but we're cr crushing the numbers this week on this fight. So uh, it would have been big. And now we don't have that. Dana, is there a reason why you came to the MGM Grand for this? Uh, yeah, they got a concert tomorrow. Kendrick Lamar is playing tomorrow at uh, T-Mobile. So they're getting set up for Kendrick Lamar. Who we'll always step aside for Kendrick Lamar. <laughs> <laughs> who? Oh, oh, Kevin. Oh. <laughs> Kevin. Oh. Any I'm last the only questions? one who may say who. Good. Everybody good? Good. Yeah, good. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Dan. Thanks, Dan. Thanks, 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 Thanks